welcome to my lab <laughs> i just got here it's 8 a.m so pretty early um and i just want to show you guys what i do when i first come in so first get in and i have a package here for me some primers so these are cool primers they're used for cloning so when i make a new dna construct i need to use something called primer so what i like to do as soon as i come in i like to change and put my lab coat on straight away um just because you know everything in the lab is pretty dirty pretty messy you never know what chemicals there are around here so it's not a requirement but personally i like to always wear my lab coat just to stay on the safe side because you know the clothes that you wear outside i go home with that and then i hug my sisters and i hug my family and i don't want to have um you know lab remnants of stuff on my clothes these goggles which i um usually only wear when um i use liquid nitrogen or something that's dangerous um but these are like my these are mine and they're my favorite ones and i just I'm just gonna put them there for effect, okay? Just, just let it be. <laughs> I usually take my laptop out because um, we need. I need my laptop to do my work on. So I take my laptop out. I love to read books, as you'll see. I have two books here that I carry. Uh, I've been reading. I'll tell you guys more about it. I've got a diary which I keep all my um, uh, appointments and meetings with my, when I meet up with friends I write everything down it's just so I can remember it and just so I, I'm always organized and I don't forget anything I'm that one person that's always on time to everything never forgets anything that's me and it's because I have a diary my laptop my diary I also have a calendar which I use for organization I also have my lab book um, and in here you will find all my notes this is a lab book that i used when i was in montreal um yeah when i was in montreal i used this lab book check out my blog if you want to see more pictures of the places that i went i went to new york i went to ottawa montreal toronto and yeah so definitely check out my blog if you want to see pictures of everything that i did it was very exciting <laughs> i also have this kind of um methods uh notebook which you don't have to have but i quite like to have all my methods written in here this is the microscope that i use predominantly switch this on so i can show you guys something that i did yesterday we have light <laughs> okay so with this microscope you can pretty much um look at up to 100x of magnification the um i guess structures such as the act such as actin and myosin i don't know if you guys know what this is but you can see some protein structures through the microscope which is really cool and it's part of what i'm studying this case is uh, act as an environmental control so when you're imaging something for when you're Im imaging some live cells for you know um two three four hours they need to be in conditions that mimic the natural conditions okay so let me show you guys something that i did yesterday which i think is super cool okay i get really like you know cooled out by these things <laughs> let's show you guys what i did okay so these are some cells they're cancerous cells and they have been stained for myosin so myosin is a motor protein um, as you can see here you can see them around there and so these cells are just dividing um, and so what you can see is this myosin is kind of changing a little bit anyway I don't know if you guys found that as cool as I did but I think it's pretty cool um, oh so for the lens um, we use this it's called Watman paper um, and it's basically like lens paper so it's really really thin when you clean the lens um, it's a bit like if you have a camera you don't just clean it with any old tissue you have special kind of like camera um, tissue cloth whatever it's to prevent scratching of the lens and also to stop dust and other things accumulating so this is quite similar to that and um, it's some lens clean tissue this is what you use to clean the lens you don't just clean it with anything really important there is another part of the lab which i will go to now um, but for this part of the lab that is it um let's go let's go let's go let's go this is so exciting i don't i never show anyone like this stuff so it's so cool <laughs> i know i'm really nerdy aren't i <laughs> We're in the second part of the lab and this is the tissue culture lab. The cells are kept in the incubator there 
um, we have fridges here where we keep all the food for the um, for the cells. Uh, and we also have loads of other stuff in here. We have something like this, which is some serum, which is what the cells eat, basically. And it contains glucose and other sorts of ingredients. All work related to cells has to be done in a sterile environment. And that's what these hoods are for. They have a, a constant flow of air um, and that prevents you from you from being contaminated and the cells from being contaminated. So pretty much you open it up like this. And then and it will work. This is the incubator, so it's kept at 37 degrees Celsius and it's kept at 5% of CO2. Um, and in here I keep my cells. Um, so you can see all of the um, flasks containing cells. At the moment, I don't really know how interested people are in seeing, I guess, what goes on in a lab. And one of the aims with starting this YouTube channel was to be, um, kind of to be someone who you could look at and say, you know what, this person has, is, is, is very studious, this person is very serious about her studies and is doing something that many people don't do, but at the same time, um, is fun and goes out and does a lot of it's very social and I think that kind of persona is very underrepresented in the in, in any field really you show you girls that like, girls you can do it um, you, you can you can do it so let me just we're gonna go to my office now to, and I'm gonna show you guys the office that I have let's go there and I'll talk to you a little bit more about me um, and really introduce myself because I haven't actually done that yet so Let's go. Uh, on the way to the, I don't even know why I'm still wearing my glasses. I do this all the time. I just walk out the lab and I'm just like, oh, crap, I've got my glasses on my head. So <laughs> don't mind that. But... This is my office. Um, each person has a desk. This is my get to know me video, I guess. Um, a lot of you guys got to know me through seeing my vlogs and through seeing my videos as opposed to just sitting here and telling you, oh, I like pasta and I like the colour red and my favourite clothes are, you know, you're not going to learn anything about me like that, you're just going to learn what I want you to think I'm like. I'm a postgraduate student, so I'm currently in my final year of my PhD in London, England. Hey, I don't, I didn't plan this. Should have, should have planned this, should I? Yeah. Honestly, I'm slightly overwhelmed, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm just a little bit overwhelmed because I did not expect it at all so you have not expected my channel to grow this month i think grow it's like it's, there's about 600 of you guys at this moment um i don't know thank you everyone who's stayed decided to stay with me one thing that i thought i might incorporate in every video or you know the videos where i do sit downs this is the first sit down i've done so what i'm reading at the moment so at the moment i'd be reading some philosophy books you may ask why i mean why are you reading philosophy okay let me explain. The other day I was out with my friends and one of my friends is a science student, the other one is an art student and you know me and the other science student were like oh philosophy is one of those degrees that you don't need to do when you, you can just um, you know just learn it whatever and she was my, my art student friend was saying oh my god no way you have to it's a certain way of thinking and we started discussing philosophy and we were on the tube and we were talking about different philosophical um, thoughts such as um, is your character defined by na nature or is it nurture? How much control do you have of your life? What is intelligence? What is existence? Do you have a soul? Um, where is your soul located? And all these sort of questions which you know we can literally go into a lot of depth about. So we were talking about them and then I realised actually, you know what? I don't know anything about philosophy. Um, and so I went to the library here at my university and I borrowed these two books out. So this one is called What Does It All Mean by Nagel or Nagel, I'm not sure. Um, so this one is about this. It's a very small, very small book. And this one is the, um, it's a very short introduction to philosophy um, and basically just has eight topics. So how do we know anything? The mind-body problem, the meaning of words, free will, right and wrong, justice, death and the meaning of life. I finished it in about two days. <laughs> so I'm pretty eager about this. In science, you just have fact and fiction. You don't have in betweens. Another thing is, for example, with free will. Um, if I go to the cafeteria, I pick out there is an orange and there is a chocolate, and I pick out the chocolate. Um, was that free will? Was I meant to pick out the chocolate, or could I have picked out the orange? How much did my previous actions, or how much? 
was predetermined for me to pick out the chocolate and not the other one guys okay it messes up your brain <laughs> when i'm reading this i'm just like my head would think and it's by um, blackburn um, and this one is, is again it's, it's an introduction um to modern philosophy as you see i am a traveler by nature okay i'm a traveler by nature i just i i love traveling be it in london or be it outside of london even though I, I was born in london and i've lived in london all my life definitely you guys i would definitely recommend you know explore your cities enjoy it there are people who live in places where they don't have freedom and they don't have live they're not liberated to be able to do what we can do so if you have the liberation you have the freedom take it fly one question that everyone's been asking me is are you somali no i'm not somali guys <laughs> I know, I know. I think it's because of that Somali, the Interna International Somali Award video that everyone thinks of Somali. No, I'm not Somali. However, all my friends, a lot of my close friends are Somali. I love Somalis because, I mean, okay, I am Ethiopian. Um, my parents are Ethiopian anyway. I was born here, so I'm British, but Ethiopian by origin. Um, and um, another question that I had was, are you are you a Somali who lived in Ethiopia? No, I'm not from Jigjiga or any of those areas. I'm true ethiopian we <laughs> as east african were neighbors so it was natural for me to attract somalis and for me to be attracted to somalis and in terms of our culture and just our personalities and stuff it was pretty it was pretty cool and even now that i'm older and i've passed school a lot of my close friends are still somali i have a few comments saying why don't you embrace your somali this why don't you why don't you um speak somali i'm like well if i was somali then maybe i would but i'm not so <laughs> i can't <laughs> And then I had some other people like, you know, yay, a Somali vlogger, and I'm like, yay, Ethiopian. <laughs> I want you to go away and say, you know what, I need to do this, and you know what, I need to do that. I don't want you to go away and say, I need to buy this, or I need to look like this, because that's not my, that's not the aim of this channel. Okay, I don't so know. that was the end of that. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you liked the tour, and I hope it wasn't too boring for you. Um, I'm sorry that it's not, you know, exciting going around London, um, but not every not every day can be like that. Not every day can be like that. Someday studious, someday education, someday academia. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and um, definitely please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I hope to have a vlog out in about three days time, so look out for that. Um, that's going to be really exciting. I'm excited. Tomorrow we're going to the VNA, so the Victorian Albert Museum in South Kensington. I absolutely love South Kensington. Um, and on Sunday, I think I'm going to Greenwich. Um, so that should be, again, very exciting. I hope that this channel will grow and become, I don't know, some, a platform where we can learn from each other and, you know, I can get people who are very... Uh, very inspiring and very motivational to talk to you guys and i hope that you guys are motivated by them before i go away um let me just snap you so snapchat say hi to the vlog vlog say hi to snapchat 